Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Reber. The most important thing that I can say right now is don't talk about this win streak until we see if we random the lost. Cross bridges as you come to them. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Alright, we're the lost. Okay. Well, I guess I won't show the seed, you know, that's a little bit counting your chickens before they hatch. If... I don't really love the idea of fighting Super Pride right off the bat, I'll tell you that much. Oh shit, I dodged it. Oh my god. Uh, I will say that if our streak ends up ending here, hey, we had a good run, and that'll be two streaks in a row that are ruined by the lost, which I have to say, you know, if, if every streak that I have only ends when we play as the character that dies when they get hit once, that's not so bad. But we also might have the opportunity to pull out a crazy win here. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm necessarily tooting my horn when I say this. I have probably an above average track record, uh, you know, relative to the, the average when it comes to the loss. I keep thinking I have... No, I tried to do a special dodge there. That'll be the end of the streak. All right, so for those of you who implicitly hate the fact that I have a streak that is above zero, despite the fact that I continue to play Zany either way, there you go. We're back at zero. And uh, that's okay. Here's our Maggie run. Is this day and seed number one six seven Y Z L H F Y? Some people have. Uh, well, this is gonna be a Maggie run, in case you were curious, because of course it's a, a Maggie run because we randomed, and random loves Maggie for whatever reason. We're in a Maggie period. That's okay, you know. Super Bandage is great, and I, I thought about maybe not doing anything with it on this floor, like maybe picking it up after we beat the boss, but whatever. We'll, yeah, we'll hemorrhage Spirit Hearts and probably be fine regardless. Uh, some people have been like, why don't you uh, copy your save with Alt F2 so that you don't have the Lost and then random? Well, the answer to that question is that some people like seeing the Lost, and then people are like, well, why don't you play the Lost more then, instead of just, you know, if you random them, you know, you, you play as them once, and I'm like, well, you know because some people don't like to see the lost. There's a lot of people watching these videos for which I am extraordinarily thankful, but also recognize that for for almost every gameplay, or not gameplay decision, but like programming decision, which character I'm going to play as, yada, 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 uh, th there is a reason, and that reason is usually because there's multiple opinions, all right? So get off my back, okay? You can't make everybody happy all the time. You can make some of the people happy all the time. You can't make everybody happy all the time. Let's head down to the boss fights. Actually, you know what? We should make a little bit more of an effort to try to get to uh, five cents. This has been like a very slight change to the way that I like to play the first floor. Previously, I've been of the opinion that the first floor is like the least important floor in the Binding of Isaac. But I actually, uh, and this, I'm very thankful that we're going to make this happen. Uh, after you get to 999 cents, I think you can actually use the first floor to almost guarantee that you'll have enough money to be, not guarantee, but very much influence the fact that you'll be in a financially stable position for almost the rest of the game. What you do is you get one key, and uh, good, we did get some live bombs there. We actually got money, so we don't need to execute exactly the plan that I was going to do here. Um, but you get one key and one bomb, and then you go into your shop, blow up the donation machine, get at least five cents, and then head down to the next floor. Uh, and as a result, you have a much better chance of spawning an arcade. If you're a character like Maggie, you can abuse the shit out of that, assuming you have the HP and the Yum Heart still. Um, and as a result, you know, maybe you leave the first floor with one extra HP or the IV bag if you, you know, if that's your style. Uh, and you also pick up, you know, maybe 20 or 30 cents in the process if you manage to seriously min-max it. That's enough money to ensure that you can at least pick up a couple of items, but also there's a pretty solid chance that you can just be financially safe for the rest of the game, because you buy an item on one floor, get a blood bank on the next floor, replenish your money. I really think that the first floor maybe actually has some of the potential uh, to define your run financially, which is not always an enormous difference. You know, it doesn't always make a huge difference. It doesn't really matter if you have 99 cents, if you also pick up Mom's Knife, Brimstone, etc, etc, etc. However, I do think that that slight shift has a more monumental impact than... Uh, than some people would have you believe. It's not just about getting a spirit heart so you can, you know, get that deal with the devil anymore. So I'm really hoping that we have an arcade on this floor because we have just a ridiculous amount of HP. We already have six red heart containers plus two and a half spirit hearts. So I would assume, especially considering we're on the basement, that a, a deal with the devil is a foregone conclusion almost. It sounds a little cocky, but I, I don't think it's unreasonable. We'll try to find a tarot card here or a... Uh, Blackheart or something along those lines. We got the moon. I think the moon is totally okay. 
I'm actually gonna pop that right away just to speed things up a little bit. A little bit. We picked up a few more bombs in the process. I am gonna go out on a limb and I'll probably save one bomb just in case we find a tinted rock because I would love to get small rock and two of the same pill. Uh, yeah, worth worth holding, especially if we come across an arcade as I have been <laughs> implying for a long time. For the pedantic amongst us, uh, yes, it would have been better to go to this curse room and then pop that uh, that uh, stars or sorry the moon card. Something that's fairly unlikely to be relevant, but whatever floats your boat. We would have saved ourselves a half black heart in the process. And that's nothing to sneeze at if we find ourselves in a position where we're, you know, nearly dead. We'll want that half black heart, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You know, you don't have to be crossing bridges so far in advance. I don't know why everyone wants to think about the bridges before they cross it. The bridge is going to be there when you get there. All you have to do is, uh, is walk across. You'll be fine. Or you can drive. It doesn't really matter. We're up to seven cents. Chocolate milk. I love this item. This has been sewing up. Uh, it's been sewing up. Yeah, it's it's been uh, biding its time as we've been waiting for it to to uh, appear. It's been sewing up a, a nice onesie for us. But uh, I'm I'm super thankful to have found it. I really love this item. It synergizes so nicely with a variety of other items. Uh, if we can get in here, this is well worth a bomb. There's no question about that. And uh, are we going to get hit? I think if we just stand off to the side, we should be fine. Picked up a spirit heart, enough money to potentially make our shop worthwhile. But I might just not go into our shop because we're, we're actually a little unlikely to be able to buy an item. And we're not super flush on keys here. So I'm thinking that my, uh, my overall plan will probably be to just, you know, financially just hold off for a little while. A little bit of a disappointment that we didn't get an arcade on this floor, but like I said, deal with the devil is a foregone conclusion, and that's really, in spite of all I've said about, you know, our financial situation, and uh, the implications therein, the most important thing on this floor for defining how this run is going to go is definitely the deal with the devil. Toothpicks is great, especially if we're at the HP cap, we don't need anything else, and pentagram is lovely, and again, we're not even at the HP cap, we're above it. For one bomb, we could get into our shop, so I actually, I'm going to... Go back on what I said earlier, and we are going to visit it, and our speed is, is acceptable for right now. Um, the reason we're going to do this is so that, uh, and we'll save a bomb in the process by walking back to whatever room we went in the first, or maybe we do have to use two bombs, in which case that would, oh no, we don't, okay. Whatever way we walked out, I guess, is okay. Um, we'll do this because we can blow up our donation machine and possibly pick up a better spacebar item than Yumheart, or just a good passive item. Uh, you know, I'll be straight with you. I don't really like the stopwatch that much, even as a novelty, but I'll, uh, I'll blow it up anyway, and we'll take the battery, which is not that fantastic, but there is a chance that, uh, we can still, oh, move out of the way here. There's a chance that we can, uh, use it effectively for blood bank plays, and there's a chance that we can use it effectively if we replace our spacebar item, so I think that's fine. And, uh, the pentagram pickup, the chocolate milk pickup are huge there. Apart from that, not an enormous floor, but uh, those two items can make a huge difference. We got I Can See Forever, which is great, and 48 Hour Energy, which gets us the full charge right away, but is not immediately useful, but being able to go into uh, both secret rooms without spending a bomb is real nice. I don't know why, uh, I'm gonna try this. Alright, we got one key back. If it's a great tarot card, then uh, all is forgiven. I don't know why I prefer chocolate milk so much in Rebirth to vanilla. Unfortunately, I, I don't get it all that often, so I haven't really... Oh, that's perfect. Unfortunately, I don't get it all that often, so I haven't really had a chance to, to think about it, to be honest with you. Uh, but I think it might... Uh, just have, like, a faster charge. It makes... The, the tap sh shooting is not as bad for me now. Maybe, like, I had a repetitive stress injury and just not taking chocolate milk for, like, two years caused it to heal. Okay, so that, I mean, that's the situation you want to have, basically. We even get to keep our full health pill. And we got the blood bag out of it, so we picked up the HP that we just spent on the pentagram. Pretty excellent. And I think we can feel like it was a good decision to now open both of those, uh... Both of those, uh... Golden chests. Even though we did find ourselves, or do find ourselves, one key down. Caves par 1 means there's no chance of finding greed. I found that out embarrassingly late in my, uh, vanilla life cycle, but... Still, now we know the rest of the story. We can go to our shop. Since there is no greed, and probably have like a 40% chance of buying a key, and uh, you know, a 100% chance of being able to afford at least one item that we want, 
And we could blow up our donation machine and get some more if we have to. Or we could try to replenish our donation machine, although it's a little early for that. And hey, I uh, completely went back on what I was saying over that sentence there and went into the item room instead. It's the D10. I can't think of many good things to say about the D10, to be honest with you. I think that item needs to be reworked. Not that rebirth needs to be easier, but I think the item would benefit entertainment-wise from being reworked so that you could reroll uh, bosses with it. Not necessarily the bosses that you face uh, at this stage of the game. Like, I don't think you should be able to reroll. Uh, maybe, why not, right? Maybe you can reroll Larry Jr. and it might reroll it into, like, you know, uh, Carrion Queen or something like that that will completely fuck over your run. I think that should be, like, an actual risk that can happen. But you also should be able to reroll the, the mini bosses on the chest. Just my two cents. Every room contains a mini-boss, basically, on the chest, so uh, it would completely change the way the game is played. Maybe give it, like, a two-room charge, then, instead of just having it be useful on every room. Or maybe I'm just being a big old puss about it, you know? There is that as well. I love Humbling Bundle, but uh, I also love Red Candle. Red Candle doesn't really work with the battery. Humbling Bundle is a, a no-brainer pickup, though. You can literally have no brain, and you'll know that that item is still good. And I am walking proof of that. I'll have to think about Red Candle, because we've had Red Candle a lot lately. I don't know if people are sick of Red Candle. I don't know if people find it boring, people find it OP. Uh, it doesn't really matter. If I think it's conducive to the run, we'll take it. I would rather get kind of a zanier item, because honestly, I feel like our conventional stats, especially HP, but also damage, or DPS, uh, is, is really nice, or they are really nice. I feel like we're not, you know, in one run territory yet. But we're definitely, like, ahead of where we need to be to call this, you know, a one-run if everything starts going according to plan. Like, that synth oil pickup, for example, is really nice. And, yes, we will take Gimpy, and yes, we will take Brimstone. You don't pass up Brimstone. It's like the definition of looking a gift horse in the mouth. Passing up probably the best item in the game. So now we will work on getting those sweet synergies with Brimstone. Stuff like uh, Spoonbender, if we can make that happen. And that means, yes, we probably will, you know, make an effort to take a crack at Boss Rush. Was there... Ah, maybe I don't care if there's a tarot card. We still have enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor, and being able to get some more HP back would be nice. But, uh, yeah, let's call it. You know, we're 9 minutes, 40 seconds into the run. We're on Catacombs 1, and uh, I'm Northern Lion, and I'm saying that uh, for CNN, this is a one run. You know what? Why don't we take a second to gamble here, maybe get a better trinket. I don't really care about the Spirit Hearts, but we can afford to gamble until we get down to 5 cents anyway. We had one luck upgrade, so I'm a little disappointed that this did not pay out with, uh, you know, anything. We got bad gas, alright. You know, I have to say that our pills have not been bad so far. We've taken, eh, three or four, and they've actually been fairly okay. Alright, that arcade is exactly what we wanted. And uh, this Demon Judgment is perfect, not to mention we got a Gimpy out of it as well. I, I'm just really bad at making sure that I get the full two plays out of that Demon Judgment, I guess. I keep ending up, like, circling around. We lost an HP in the process. It, it's going to be pretty difficult to tell how our damage is going to do. Uh, so we'll do this, and then we'll gamble. Oh my god, that was crazy good. Alright, so we got uh, our HP back that we lost on Experimental Treatment. Pretty much no way to tell how our damage is, but I think that it improved based on the fact that we, uh... We didn't just one-shot those guys, which would be expected. Like, we took them out super quickly. I actually think that this might be a huge damage upgrade from Experimental Treatment. I think Experimental Treatment can change your damage by, like, 0.5. It's hard to remember, because it doesn't actually do what it says that it does, but I, I believe that it can change your damage by 0.5, which... Uh, you know, it's not as much as even a small rock or something like that, but it's enough to be noticeable. But these are also, like, the first enemies I think I've killed since having Brimstone, so... Um, it's possible... That, uh... It's just layover from that. One of these days, I will get, uh, E. coli and Unicorn Stump on the same run, and I will finally have a little bit more of a baseline level of knowledge to talk about those items, but for now... Or that item specifically, because I have had Unicorn Stump Midas Touch, and it's awesome! But uh, we haven't really had an opportunity to use our uh, Turdy Touch that effectively. And I wish we did, because it's a cool item. Especially if you can get it to synergize with, like, Petrified Poop. Again, financially, you're sorted. I'm hoping we'll be able to play this Judgment on this floor as well. Now, for all of the complaining that I've done about, you know, lackluster frequency on Deals with the Devil recently, that seems to have all flown out the window here. We have picked up a... Uh, like, we really... In most cases, you would not expect to have gotten a Deal with the Devil on that uh, Caves Part 1. Catacombs 1, I guess. In most cases, you would expect to 
I mean, the the only time we've been guaranteed to deal with the devil recently seems to have been on Basement 2 or, um, you know, the Depths 1 oftentimes. Sometimes, you know, you end up getting a Krampus fight on Catacombs 2 and then you get a deal with the devil on uh, Depths 1. That's always frustrating, but we've been making it work regardless. I actually kind of like that we ran into the Lost, honestly. It, it was like, you know, they... I'm, they're gonna sound like maybe a little bit of an asshole here. But you know, when there were like Roman uh, consuls, you know, like basically the, the Roman version of the president, and they would go out on military campaigns because they were also generals. If they came back from a su successful campaign, I was trying to get that, uh, that stuff back there in case it wasn't obvious. If they came back from a successful campaign, legend has it, and apparently this is debated, you know, somewhat hotly within the historical record or whether or not the historical record has... Uh, you know, substantiated this, but there would be like a servant or, you know, some kind of philosopher would follow them behind. Okay, Northern Line, just get to the point. And they would say like, you know, you're mortal. Remember, you're not, you're not going to live forever. You're going to die someday. You know, you poop just like everybody else. And it was meant to keep them more human. I wasn't getting a big head because of the streak or anything like that. But still, I think it is a healthy attitude to have this, this attitude basically that anything could go wrong at any given moment. Um, and... Well, not any, maybe that leads to, like, undue worry or something like that. But to know that, you know, RNG still dictates the game, and we're just living in it, you know? RNG is what controls the controls the, the, the laws and the rules of the land here. All we can do is influence it as best as we can. Now, that being said, for the, the tribute in the form of our life and our streak that we played, that we paid to RNG Jesus, RNG Jesus has been extremely nice. Uh, in giving us a really nice rebound run here where HP has been very easy to come by, good deals with the devil item abound. It's a great situation that I can't really uh, muster much to complain about. Hopefully we do manage to snag a deal with the devil on this floor as well. I mean, I get, there's no reason that we would want two of hearts over full health that I can see. There is a, a mathematical point at which they would be equal. But we are far above that mathematical point in terms of our available max HP. Alright, easy room. I kind of expected some kind of payout from that room. We have only had one luck upgrade, you know. I'm not complaining. But if we're looking for stuff that'll make this a more fun run, because it's already almost like a max one run. So let's start talking about fun run. That's the real question, man. This should be like a PSA for the Isaac community. Let's stop worrying about one runs and start thinking about fun runs. I see people all over, you know, our Binding of Isaac and other places on, on Twitter and on the internet talking about, oh, you know, this is a special item. I think it's stupid that special items, even if you just see them but don't take them, cause you to get less special items. And, you know, I, I honestly just... And I mean this sincerely, I'm not just playing dumb. I don't know enough about the mechanic to, to say whether or not I agree, but man... You know, it strikes me as kind of a, a small problem. You're obviously entitled to your own criticism, but... Let's start worrying about fun runs instead of one runs. Where, where are you guys going? Alright. Uh, okay, of all the candles, we will take Black Candle. I love Curse Immunity. And those are our special rooms. All bundled up in a row here. We could choose to leave this floor if we wanted to. And only, like, you know, 20% of the people watching this would be angry that we didn't go to all four corners of the earth trying to get, you know, like a single extra penny or something like that. But I would love the chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Not only for Blood Bank usage, but for the Demon Judgment. You know, if the Demon Judgment shows up, that'd be awesome. Code Hanger is helpful, and hopefully Guppy items here. Because we're not going to do anything with Spirit Hearts. Uh, you know... If we're ever going to have a deal with the devil that is going to hit us up with six troll bombs, better to happen when we have Brimstone and we're at the HP cap anyway. I'm not going to complain too hard about that one, you know. The game giveth and the game taketh away, but it's doing a lot more giving than it's taking right now. Which is okay, you know, for once it's nice to not have to do all the work. Uh, we're at 7, 6, 14, so we definitely have enough consumables from all categories here to make this work. I am going to go to every single room, even though I disparaged it a little earlier. And the reason I'm going to go to every single room is because we have the, uh, humbling bundle, so every room is basically worth twice as much. Whether or not this will actually end up being, you know, worth it with respect to our time remains to be seen. But if we wanted to, we could... Pretty much bum rush the boss room on the next floor anyway. Like, uh, I don't see that being a problem. 
Like, the normal time that you'd want to be out of here is probably around... We don't even need that. Probably around 1630 anyway, so we're still a little bit ahead. I would say we're probably actually not ahead. We're probably on time. But that's on time with exploring everything, so... If we, find the, if we found ourselves in the same situation on this floor or on the next floor, we could just skip, you know, the bullshit rooms and just go to the good ones and make it happen. But, you know, why not uh, farm up some shit here, go to our curse rooms. These guys are going to be annoying because they're always annoying. Hopefully I hit him there. Take some time to bomb this, maybe get a teleportation tarot card. Emperor, that's pretty much exactly what I would have wanted. So, we could also use the Emperor card on this floor. If we really wanted to, uh, you know, get out of here without having to backtrack, but I think that is a stupid idea. So we're going to be about 35, 40 seconds shy of where I'd like to be, but on the other hand, we did pick up some stuff that I'm a fan of. You know, we went from 3 cents to 15, and we got an Emperor card, which actually makes Boss Rush viable. Uh, we still want to go to our item room in our shop first, because the Emperor card won't actually allow us to get out of our... Boss plus boss rush area, but still um, This this is very nice, you know, we'll talk about this. I would rather get a free item from boss rush than play a blood bank And I don't think that's uh, very controversial Some people might not like this, but I'm gonna open this That gave us a deal with the devil right off the bat I will totally take both of these and because we took damage coming out of the curse room anyway We didn't actually take damage uh, on the way there Like on the way to that red chest, which is amazing and there's another spirit heart back here. I know we're leaving a penny behind. You know, this is just something we're going to do to, to speed things up a little bit here. Don't worry about it too much. You know, we're, we're going to be fine financially. I can't imagine that uh, things will go south here. Yep. Expected to take damage there. That doesn't mean it's good, but I, I did expect to take damage there. And uh, I wish we could have Yumhart just drop the hearts on the ground instead of deposit them right on our person. Because, man, oh, man, if we could get Dark Bum plus Yum Heart plus Battery, we could uh, ball out of control pretty quickly here. The only thing we're lacking, I know I talked about luck earlier, but the only, like, mechanical thing we're really lacking on this run, to put it so far over the top that it isn't even funny, is um, flying. If we could just get flying at this point. We can't get curses. We do a ton of damage. We have Dark Bum. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. And Maggie's Bow, we're not going to be able to easily get to half-heart intervals, but... That's probably largely irrelevant. Did pick up the compass, uh, and we still have a little bit of money left over. What rooms am I skipping here now that we have the compass? I'm skipping an arcade. We're at 1837. Let's find some rooms with more skulls on them in the hopes that I could blow them up. And in blowing up those uh, skulls, maybe get a different teleportation card that's actually better for us. Stay out of the way of that one. And no other teleportation card. I think we're just going to go for it. Yes, we are skipping, you know, possibly a demon judgment in the process here. I'm not super happy about that. I mean, the problem is, like, unlike other rooms, going to the, uh... Going to the arcade is not, like, a 45-second endeavor. Going to the arcade took could take five or six minutes to min-max. You want to see that stuff? Go check out BizSnap. I mean that sincerely. That's not, like, an insult. Like, go check out BizSnap. How much of a douche would I have to be to use that as an insult? You know, we're, uh, at the very least, we're acquaintances. Maybe borderline friends. I think he's a pretty cool dude, but if that's the kind of playstyle you want, there's other people you should be checking out. Uh, Sad Bombs plus Brimstone doesn't really work. But I love Sad Bombs, and the synergy is too good for me to pass up. So, yeah, we, we can't, unfortunately, like, leave here, but we'll head down to the next floor. We can leave and go back to our arcade, which would be nice, but whatever. It's good. I think. I think it's good. Boss room may not be down here. Okay, I don't know about that one. I do want to access our uh, mob trap room. We have a pretty low chance to become guppy. But I'd like to do it regardless. Again, easy way to fly. After this room, I'm going to have to take my headphones off for a second. just And I'll probably be quiet just to see because I can hear an alarm in the background. It sounds like it's coming from outside, but, you know, I, I have these headphones on, so I want to make sure that it's coming from outside before I just burn to death for the sake of one Isaac episode, which I think is probably a bad idea. Okay, one sec. I'm pretty sure that that's an alarm that's coming from outside. 
I'm not sweating it so much. You know what I will say? If that ends up being an alarm that's coming from inside, um, they need to they need to buff that sound a little bit so that the people that are actually in this apartment complex can hear it. Because that is just ridiculous. Everyone's going to burn to death. They're going to be like, oh, that's from the bank down the street. Double nickel there. I did not know. Well, I guess I, I never really thought that that was impossible, but I don't know if I've ever had that happen. It's certainly on the rarer side. Plus, you know, if there is a fire, what? You know, flashpoint usually happens in like, or um, flashover usually happens in like three minutes. We could be done this run within three minutes, then I'll just go out the window slide anyway. I'm not trying to make light of, uh, of you know, fires, by the way. I'm just, I guess, you know, literally, I guess I am. I guess I'm cracking a joke. I apologize. There was a black card back here we missed, apparently. I don't know what that came from. I think it stopped. Alright, it stopped. Even if it was coming from inside the place, we'd be okay. I know there's gonna be comments like, I don't hear any alarm. Yo, that... <laughs> doesn't matter, you know? It doesn't matter whether the alarm comes through over the microphone. It matters whether it comes through in my ear. Well, you know, you get to like whatever afterlife you believe in. Well, why didn't you leave when the apartment was on fire? Well, the people in chat couldn't hear it, so I didn't think it was coming from my building. You you go to the stupid section of the afterlife. You don't get to hang out with Albert Einstein. In the smart section, everybody gets one lunch period with Albert Einstein. You're not invited. All right, Guppy's collar for free. Thank you, Dark Bum, for giving me some of the HP back that I lost because I'm dumb. And Necronomicon. The alarm freaking started again. Oh my god. I I mean, we could have made a pretty good case for taking Necronomicon, I suppose, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we will we'll continue to go to our curse rooms, and we may actually take advantage of our uh, arcade on this floor. I'd especially love to see a demon judgment. Let's see how our sad bombs look. I'm just... Oh, we'll pick up all the bombs. We're picking up all the bombs now, for sure. Oh, Dead Onion is probably going to make our sad bombs so much better if we're close to the enemies. I want to throw down like another one just to see, but we'll wait until we get into the next room. Oh, you know what it is? It's because we have chocolate milk. Right, I should have, uh, I should have noticed that earlier. Oh, that is just majestic. Your sad bombs are a wonderland. Your sad bombs are a wonderland. I'll use my hand. Well, uh, when you touch me, you get turned into poop, so it's kind of like, you know, lose-lose, if you ask me. Still go to our curse room. I just want to check out our, uh... You know, uh, arcade first here, if it's at all possible. Oh, you know, I got a great idea. How about we use a bomb? <laughs> oh, yes. And the red hearts. When the lights go down in the city. And the fistula parts pay with hearts. That's a little journey. I'm not from San Francisco, but it seemed appropriate. Um... I guess we'll uh, just check this out. There is a curse room here. Maybe we'll basically be able to go for free. Oh my god, I can't see. I can't see anything. I guess we got a spirit heart out of that. I shouldn't have picked that up yet, but I couldn't see it either. So hopefully that you know works in my own defense. You know, we already have access to our boss gauntlet room. Boss uh, trap room in my parlor. <laughs> I can't even go to the, the... My luck is too good. They won't let me go to the, the boss trap room. I'm sorry. I, I would love to. There, I, I stopped charging uh, chocolate milk. Just to make it so we can actually see what happens there. So I guess I'll just fully charge a brimstone shot, hold it, and then put a sad bomb next to mom. And we'll see uh, how that works out for us here. That's for you, dog bomb. The alarm stopped again. So, you know, that's we got that going for us, which is nice. Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty good. I, I'm going to have to go ahead and say that this is probably a one run based on the uh, status of sad bombs alone. The fact that it literally one-shot mom's heart is pretty excellent. The alarm stopped and then started again. I don't know what the fudge to say here. We're probably not going to die, though, so, that you know, it's, it's a good thing. More spirit hearts for me there. Um, I think I may literally tackle every room with sad bombs. It's like a very 
roundabout way of getting, uh, like, Tammy's head. We actually killed Loki with the remnants of that first sad bomb, which is hilarious. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Uh, that's more uh, that we can ever ask for there. Oh my god. My Dark Bomb, he's alright. I said, my Dark Bomb, clean out of sight. Don't you know there is some kind of bumderful. You know, I could tell what was going on in some people's thought process. They're like, oh, Northern Lion, stop singing. You know, who cares about some kind of wonderful? And then the second part, you know, the, the changed lyric came out and they went, all right. You know, that's not, like, noteworthy on the clever sense, but it's it's good enough. You pulled me back. Just when I thought I was out and I was getting frustrated and thought you were out of commentary ideas, you, uh, you came back in the clutch and I appreciate it. You know what? I appreciate that as well, person that I just made up to, uh, you know, basically fillet my lack of uh, singing and comedy skill. Is he dead? He's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Some kind of bumderful. Well, this is pretty much over. This has been a great run, though. I wish I would started using sad bombs earlier. Uh, yeah, we'll take stigmata. I mean, I'm assuming that magic finger is going to do a ton of damage. Magic fingers. Yeah, I mean, magic fingers is doing okay. It's taken a long time, though. But it's not like we're ever going to use yum heart, so let's just hold it for now, and then, you know, we'll we'll decide if we want to do something with it later. Dude, this is beautiful. I, I actually... I'm having a fantastic time. I'm not even looking at the direction. Because I don't want to look at the direction. I don't want this run to be over. I don't want to close my eyes. don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. You think, you know, if he was, like, literally meaning everything he said in that song, he'd be like, I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss you, baby. But, like, seriously, can you go? Because I've been awake for 72 hours, and my doctor says that if I stay awake much longer, I may actually start to experience, like, auditory and visual hallucinations. Like... Don't want to close my eyes But we've been together for a while and I'm sleepy, baby. Can you please do something else? I forgot what dreaming's like Mr. Mega plus sad bombs here. I, I couldn't think of a rhyme for that. So that's convenience uh, synergy there um, Mr. Mega seems like an awesome pickup for us here as well. I'm assuming we're gonna one-shot the shit out of blue, baby. What a beautiful run. I don't know if I've ever had sad bombs more powerful than that. Synergized so nicely with chocolate milk. The streak begins anew, but hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.